Water, a basic necessity every human being needs in order to survive. Safe water, sanitation, and water conservation are a big issue in the world today. People are dying every hour due to diseases and bacteria in their water source. Millions of people in developing countries do not live up to the standard that we live in. Not only are humans dying every single day, but tons and tons of water is being lost. Water is essential to our survival and only 3% is fresh water. Therefore, we must start using water wisely and do all that we can to save it. Much of the 3% of fresh water is polluted, leaving less than 1% of portable water for 7 billion people to survive on. 660 million people without sanitation live on less than $2 a day, and more than 385 million live on less than $1 a day. Almost half of people in developing countries suffer from health issues. About 1.4 million children die a year, and every 20 seconds, a person dies because of diseases. This is the poverty cycle. It begins with unsafe water, caused by bacteria, garbage, and people dumping their waste. This causes people to get sick, and many people die of diseases such as diarrhea, worm disease, AIDS, and malaria. Due to the sickness, many people cannot work, which means families get less income. which leads to having barely any or no money. Because of this, families have to cut down on their basic needs. Therefore, they cannot afford clean water. As a result, these people need to rely on the unsafe water source for their needs, which causes the cycle to repeat over and over again, making it very difficult to get out of. As you have seen, people in developing countries such as Africa are suffering from unsafe water and sanitation. Whereas in richer countries, we take water for granted because it isn't a big problem. Many of the water sources in third world countries are privatized by big western companies like Coca-Cola and Nestle. People in rich countries have the water they need to stay healthy and hygienic. However, the water used by those living in developing countries is dirty and unsafe. First world countries and companies are privatizing the water in poor countries, which forces people to get their daily water from ponds and ruined lakes because the water isn't affordable. It takes them hours and hours to find a water source where they are able to retrieve their water, and the water is not clean. Not only are those people losing their access to clean water, people in first world countries are wasting the water, and soon, all the water will be gone. Many times we have stated that privatization is a bad thing. There are people around the world that thinks privatization should continue, other than the big transnational companies that are making all the money. For instance, the World Bank thinks that privatization is being practiced incorrectly, and that's the problem and not privatization of water itself. But it has been seen in other documentaries and studies that the government is concerned with universal access, where the private companies only care about their profit thus only providing water to those who can pay. They even said 
Prioritizing water is the best way to deliver it safely to a thirsty world. Clearly, these companies haven't looked around. Now, the government isn't all good either because of so much corruption. It has been seen that the government will go in and pick up the pieces of the failed privatization companies. Now, what side is the government really on? We never really know, do we? So the real question is, do we stick with the government or go with the big transnational companies that provide our water? The solution is to demand the government to take their role seriously about water protection so we all can have access to water. You may be wondering why people in developing countries are not living up to the regular standard of living. This is because developing countries can't afford the advanced technologies to help them get the water and make it pure. It needs to be provided for them. Even if these countries could afford it, they won't have the resources to facilitate it, as some villages only have one creek, and it is miles and miles from where they live. In most first world countries, water isn't a big concern creating an issue where people don't really care because water isn't a problem yet. We are currently using more water than can be replenished by natural sources and polluting our water so that some sources are not usable anymore. The river between Mexico and the US is so polluted that it's not portable and if a person swims in it, they could have a disease within that day. If people keep using water in these manners, we will soon run out, as there is only 3% of fresh water on Earth. Not only is water being wasted, but it is being made inaccessible to many poor people around the globe because of privatization. When water is privatized, the companies can make it as pricey as they feel is necessary, and some people cannot afford that. So they have to use the dirty water that kills them. In some countries, they have water meters that give them water. But when they turn on the tap, only air comes out. And yet, they're still charged for it. Proving that the big transnational companies don't care about people's health, but only about the money. If people are to continue on using water inappropriately, we as humans will not be able to sustain life and prosper a species. You may be wondering, what can you do to help? Well, you can conserve water at home by using rain barrels, turning off the tap or brushing your teeth and washing dishes. You could also use hand-me-down items and take shorter showers. You could spread awareness about the global water issue through social media and in your communities so that people can get involved. And if you really want to, you could get yourself involved. For example, become a volunteer at a charity and help out with the water issue.